Today, we're speaking with Antoine Turich from Gleason about wheel grinding, its effective processes, the future, and more. Let's talk about the new features and capabilities of the 200GX and 260GX threaded wheel grinding machines. Yeah, so uh, when we developed this machine, we wanted to uh, provide our customers a solution uh, which offers a high productive grinding machine with the shortest possible uh, floor to floor times, with shortest possible setup time, very important topic, and offering the latest and greatest technology features such as twist control grinding, polish grinding, or our uh, newly uh, developed feature closed loop. Once the setup is done, is there a learning process that goes along with it? That is an important topic uh, which we learn from a voice of customer, which we typically do before we start a development. So we do interviews uh, with customers uh, to uh, learn more about their specific needs. And, uh, and we learn that uh, even in a high volume production environment, setting up machines is still pretty important. And then obviously, uh, to uh, shorten it up as short as possible because the setup time is non-productive time. And uh, so uh, we came up with a solution to set up our machine in less than 20 minutes and even more important uh, to do it with just one tool only. And I have this tool here and here is the tool. So that is the tool which is required to set up our grinding machine. Uh, so with this tool you uh, uh, can do the exchange of the grinding wheel, you can do the exchange of the uh, dressing discs, uh, you do the exchange of the work holding equipment, other stuff like um, gripper inserts don't even require any tools, so uh, that is now a very much simplified uh, setup. This looks like a typical Allen key though. Yeah, yeah that's it. It's a, a very simple tool which you can buy everywhere uh, in, a, in, a, in every Home Depot. You can buy this tool. Uh, nevertheless, we labeled it with Gleason. Um, <laughs> but yes, that's, that's a tool. But it's not just about the tool. It's also uh, the whole environment uh, which we have put around the setup. So. Another important topic is the whole setup cycle is software guided. So uh, uh, the operators are getting instructions right on the screen of the machine, step-by-step -step instruction, no text, just pictures. Um, so even untrained and unskilled operators can learn it very fast by using these instructions. And um, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Twist controlled grinding. You mentioned this in the beginning. So, what are some efficient processes to it? Yeah, twist uh, twist controlled grinding is is a topic which uh, uh, appears on uh, when grinding helical gears. So uh, today, uh, almost all gears which are being ground are helical gears, uh, and uh, when you apply. Uh, a certain amount of lead modification, which is also the case in, 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 in most cases. So, and uh, the problem with that is that uh, when doing so, you are creating a topography of, of your uh, flank, which is no longer uh, as it is, is supposed to be, but it is twisted. So when, and the problem with that is that the gear flank does not come out as it was designed to be. And the problem is that uh, uh, having a twisted uh, gear <coughs> when mating with the uh, opposite gear uh, will impact the meshing behavior of those two gears and especially uh, will have a negative impact on the noise behavior of uh, such a gear pair. So that is um, the problem with these let's say natural twist, which appears in all grinding processes. And uh, Gleason understood this uh, problem pretty, pretty early. And uh, we developed sophisticated methods, by the way, for both for profile grinding and thread regrinding to produce any amount of, of twist, no twist or dedicated amount of twist. And uh, gear designers nowadays are even requesting uh, for more and more gears for uh, a specific twist. Our method, uh, which we are applying on our Gleason machines, does not affect cycle time and it does not affect dressing time, which is very important. So whether you do twist control grinding or you don't do, you have no impact on the cycle time and uh, hence you are not uh, really affecting also cost, which is a big differentiator from other methods available in the market. 
closed loop system. Sometimes things need to be controlled and looked after. How is that brought together in an efficient way? Um, so the, the, the idea behind closed loop is also to take out the uh, uh, operator operator skills because uh, so in the past and still nowadays pretty often uh, what is being done is a, a gear is being inspected from time to time uh, on an inspection machine, hopefully on a Gleason inspection machine, since we offer uh, very nice uh, solutions for that as well. And uh, then the inspection machine is doing uh, a normal gear inspection, and then the operator gets a printout of the inspection machine, and then he has to decide, based on his skills, whether uh, uh, everything is okay, whether everything is within tolerances, and if not, then he has to do something, and he has to go back to the machine and do some adjustments and settings and do some corrections. So, and um, the idea behind closed loop now is to take the data from the grinding uh, from the inspection machine and send them right to the production machine. And uh, interestingly, this basically was an idea by one of our customers. Uh, and this customer had already a, a honing machine and he was using a Gleason inspection machine and he came up with the idea and told us some years ago, he told us, hey folks, why are you not connecting these two machines together and making them talk together? And we thought about it and uh, it, it was a brilliant idea uh, which, we for, which we developed and nowadays we can offer this for other technologies such as grinding. So the data being inspected on the gear inspection machine are being sent directly to the grinding machine. In our case, the grinding machine compares the nominal values with the actual measured values and then uh, applies automatically necessary corrections. So Gleason, Gleason listens to their customers. Now, what about the custom demand shaping R&D at Gleason? We listen to our customers. That is uh, an important uh, factor of uh, success. Uh, I, I told you in the beginning that we did a voice of customers, so we listen a lot to customers, um, to their requests, their wishes, uh, to their ideas, and uh, then uh, we, uh, let's say, do a lot of uh, developments depending on these uh, wishes. So uh, we couldn't sit in an ivory tower and, and invent uh, strange things uh, without, let's say, matching with customer needs. So it's it's very important to to listen to to the needs. The future of Gleason, the next five to ten years. What are some innovations in the near future that we can look forward to? Oh yeah, I was expecting such a question for the end of this uh, interview. Um, and actually, it is the most difficult question to answer because. Uh, Nobody has a crystal ball to look into the future. I still see a big future for grinding of gears, hard finishing of gears, uh, because with the uh, transformation of the conventional driving towards e-mobility, uh, this will heavily impact our industry, the gear industry. Uh, first of all, uh, e-drives will require less gears. On the other hand, it will uh, require higher quality gears um, because the demands are totally different on an e-drive compared to a combustion uh, engine drive. Uh, also for two reasons. One reason is an electric motor uh, has much higher input RPM, 20,000 versus a combustion engine has about four to 5,000 RPM. And uh, so the, the, the noise level uh, will be in a, in a higher range due to the higher RPM. And secondly, the the masking noise of the combustion engine is totally missing because an, an, an e-drive has almost no noise anymore. So this is uh, making the situation even more critical in terms of noise characteristics. And therefore, I'm convinced, and we see it already today, that the quality demands for gears such as this one, this is, uh, this is not a, an electric gear, this is from a standard gearbox. Anyhow, um, the quality demands will will further increase and uh, we have to, to face these uh, challenges. Uh, in addition to that, um, IoT topics, Internet of Things topics, uh, we call them Gleason 4.0 solutions, uh, are becoming more and more important nowadays. So connecting things together, so connecting 
tool information, work holding information, uh, everything, uh, measuring information with the production information uh, is an, an important factor. Uh, we are working on that. We already offer solutions and I'm sure uh, this will become much more important in, in the future. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Yeah, thank you for having me.